where should you put your investments and what's the difference between bond funds, equity funds, and balance funds? Good afternoon from Intramuros here in Manila. So here's the thing. I got a lot of questions about where should you put your investments and what's the difference between bond funds, equity funds, and balance funds. And among the three, which is uh, a good investment that you should actually put it. You have to remember this. No, there's no such thing as the best investment. Your goal is to find out what works for you. So let's just break it down. All of those uh, funds no, are still mutual funds, meaning uh, you put your money in a common fund, then you have a fund manager who will do all of the investing for you. So if you're a person who wants exposure uh, into paper assets, into capital markets, but don't want the rudiments no, of how you pick, how you design, and how you would actually go through the nitty gritty of it, uh, those funds will work. But what are the difference between those, those three? Bond funds generally put the money, uh, fund managers might put majority of the money in bonds. It's just basically it. Uh, equity funds, the fund managers put majority of the money straight into equity funds. Now, what are balanced funds? Balanced funds, you give the fund managers uh, the liberty to decide where they want to put the money, either in equity funds or in bond funds. Meaning, if they feel that uh, equities or, or stocks are doing well, in a balanced fund, you will have uh, a position where there's more stocks than bonds but when the market isn't doing well please remember this bonds and stocks are inversely proportional what does what does that mean when this when stock market is doing well bond funds won't do well but when uh, stock market is not doing well bonds will do pretty much well you will see interest rates do better and you will see yields do better as well so what does that mean if bonds are doing well you will see balanced funds uh, shift towards bonds and you will have a greater proportion in it uh, so which among the three is the best so here's here's my take into it though if you're a long-term investor and you really want to maximize growth then for me put everything in equity funds equity funds is the way to go up against bond funds or balance funds equity funds is the way to go why if there are if there are market drops it doesn't matter it it allows you not to actually buy it cheaper buy it lower so if you would put a uh, if you would put a ranking criterion between the three, I, and I, you're looking for growth, I put more in equity funds. Then balance fund is second on my list. Then bond funds would be the lowest. Bond funds really doesn't give you growth. It's just really there for people who want, um, I guess, a sense of safety for people who just want to preserve their funds. That's just the purpose of bond funds. But then again, if you just want to preserve your money, then just buy straight direct investing bonds or just buy real estate. For me, you want to preserve it, don't go bond funds anymore, just buy bonds or buy real estate. If you want to grow your money and you don't want to pick stocks, for sure, equity funds are the way to go. But among all of the equity funds, I suggest just buy a, a tracker fund, meaning a fund that tracks the index, a PSEI tracker fund, something that will follow the index. So. That's it. They're all just funds. They're all just mutual funds. They're all just funds that are uh, held and owned or managed by uh, fund managers. But uh, you have to remember, be sensitive about the cost. No? Uh, try to research as well. Na there are some costs, the fund management fees, that will take a toll also, especially if you're holding on it for a very, very long period of time. So check out the fees. Be sensitive uh, in the fees, the admin fees. It's not just about the the money you put in and the charges that they get every time you put money in and the charges that they get when you take money out but uh, what will take a toll there also is the monthly fees that get deducted so think about it good market bad market uh, you pay admin fees as well so that's something that should be part of your computation that's something that should be part of the way you analyze it and it should actually fit in your financial plan as well everything that you invest into must fit in your financial plan please do not invest just for the sake of investing do not invest just for the sake of uh, you just want to put your money somewhere it must fit into your financial plan and it must be something that based on sound financial planning principles the allocation of how much you put there should fit your risk tolerance should fit your time horizon and it should fit uh, the amount of volatility that you can actually contain because at the end of the day if the market drops or your investment drops regardless if it's equity fund bond, bond fund or balance fund if you can't sleep well at night then it's well, not well worth it uh, please remember this also people think that because it's balanced fund and it's bond fund it's less risky no it bond funds also drop 
balance funds also drop as well. There's a level of volatility there. It's lesser nga lang than equity funds as a whole. However, look at this. Equity funds, when it drops, it drops down. However, because stocks in the long term, good stocks in particular, always bounce back. Uh, the drop will be mitigated by how, how high it will go. So what does that mean? Key point, key takeaway here is when you want to invest in either equity bond or balance fund, it has to be long term. That's why, guess what? Equity funds make sense the most. I repeat, equity funds make sense the most, especially index equity funds. So, yeah, that's it. I, I've made several videos here in Intramuros, Manila. So I think this will be the last video, the last part of this series. But I really do hope that this video helps you and it also encourages you, excites you to actually invest. Because I dream to see more and more and more and more Filipinos take part of the growth, take part of what's happening in our economy as well. So that's it for now. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Subscribe to my YouTube page. Subscribe also to Facebook or like the Facebook page. God bless you. Have a great day ahead.